Burnley fan reaction, Leeds United nil, Burnley won. What a performance, what a result, what a win. That was the strong jaw is back. That was probably one of the most hardest, horrible matches to watch and yet one of the most enjoyable games of football to watch and most entertaining. Um, Really, really proud of the lads with that one today. That was... Ellen Road's a tough place to go. We all know that. Um, We all know how dirty Leeds can be. We know how hard Leeds can be to break down as a team. Um, And today, you know, we, we defended with our lives. Um, That was a result that we needed. Um, We've... You know, we've come back after the international break looking strong. Um, Leeds will be a team that are up there at the end of the season. Uh, I fully expect Leeds to be in the top two come the end of the season. But that showed why we can expect to be up there as well. Um, Starting off really with my man of the match shout just because he's had a lot of stick over the last 12 months. Probably rightly so. Um, Some things probably unfairly said towards him. But James Trafford today, take a bow. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think without watching the game back, there's three saves that I can pinpoint in my head that were absolutely phenomenal saves. Um, Just from shots on goal. But commanding his area and coming out and collecting crosses you know that they these were things that last season we said he needed to do more and get better at and he certainly has done especially today that that was fantastic and the lad deserved his clean sheet um and deserved to be on the winning side so fair play James Trafford my man of the match um I'm sure a lot of people will agree in terms of the rest of the team I thought Bashir defended fantastically. Um, I do think he was unfortunate to get sent off. Second yellow card, definitely a yellow card. Um, but at that point in the game, you know, when we're defending for our lives like we were, it was inevitable that someone was going to get booked in that area of the pitch in that part of the game. I do think he was unlucky in the first half to get booked. I think that was a statement booking from the referee. Um, especially after the whole penalty that wasn't a penalty incident. But I don't want to pull Humphreys out for getting sent off because, like I say, it felt like there was someone was going to get that second yellow card. Um, but he was putting everything on the line to, to try and defend the 1-0 lead, so... Up to that point, I thought he'd played really, really well. So, yeah, um, no no bad feelings on Humphreys for that. Um, I feel like the whole defence played solid defensively. Um, you know, I think Worrell made some fantastic challenges. The penalty, that wasn't a penalty. It's one of them where if it was given a get, if it was us, I'd be wanting the penalty. Um but I can see why the referee didn't give it because he does get a good, you know, good, decent touch on the ball. Um, as I say, I haven't watched any of it, the highlights or anything back yet. So this is all from my, my first viewing, but it did look like he got enough of a touch on the ball. Um, but as I say, I, I would be shouting for it if, if it was us. So it's one of them. Um, but I thought the referee had quite a poor game. Uh, overall, after the penalty incident, the Leeds fans had obviously got on his back. Um, you know there was the the tackle that um Ampadu had on on Hannibal, which I can't understand why he wasn't booked for making that tackle, um, or making that foul after, you know, so many silly fouls had been given yellow cards, um, and I think that's just you know you go away to a team like Leeds at their home ground um, and you know the fans are going to get on the referees back and decisions like that are going to go against you so in terms of that 
I think the referee had a poor game, not just for us, for both sides. Um, I think taking my claret and blue tinted spectacles off, I think the referee just had a poor game overall uh, for both sides. Like I say, the penalty could have been given. I'd probably want it if it was us, but at the same time, I do think he gets enough of the ball not to make it a penalty. Um, but yeah, I think Leeds, obviously going forward, were very solid. Um, the, the, the whole game's very reminiscent a few years ago when we played Stoke, um, I think Ings got two goals in like the first 15 minutes or something. And then the entire second half, we just defended for our lives. Um, and I think we held on to win that 2-1. Um, and it was very reminiscent of that again today. You know, we've them lot down the road have got a lot of stick um, after their one all win against us. Um for basically sitting in the box and defending, but I don't feel like we sat in the box and defended today, but I do feel like it was very similar. Um, I don't feel like that was our game plan. I do think we'd gone there to obviously play um, and we just couldn't get a foothold on the game today. But, you know, Lucas pounced on an error from one of the Leeds players and... Um, and use that that raw pace that we all know that he's got to go down the other end. I was screaming for him to pass it to Anthony. I was desperate for him to pass it to Anthony, but the lad's done well. Um, you know, composed himself well, and then obviously curled it into the bottom corner, which absolute brilliant goal. Um, like I say, that I wanted him to pass it, but he's composed himself well. Again, Coleosho's had a lot of stick for not having much end product this season. Um, you know, and a bit last season before he did get injured. But he's, you know, he's shown there today. I think that's his second goal this season for us. So, you know, re really happy for him. Uh, Coley Osho was the one player that I said we needed to keep in the transfer window. So I'm really glad that we have. Uh, and I'm really glad for him today. In terms of the players who were missing, um, I don't really think we missed them that much, obviously. Humphrey's now suspended for next weekend against Portsmouth. Um, so hopefully Connor's back and, you know, fit enough to, to come back into the team. Um, Foster, not sure what's happening. Sim rumours that he's ill. Sim rumours that he was in Paris yesterday. Whatever the situation is, whatever's happening there, I think we've got solid replacements if he's not going to be fit for the foreseeable. Um and with that, you know, I thought Fleming played very well today. He didn't seem to get into the game as much as maybe we wanted him to. Um, but he seemed to do that, play his role quite well, especially holding up the play. Um, like I said, Lauren, I thought he was brilliant. Obviously, a few misplaced passes, um, but I thought overall he was brilliant. Anthony, again, I thought he was fantastic. Again, a few misplaced passes, but I did think he was fantastic. Um, and overall, you know, we've gone to Ellen Road. It's been a tough, hard game. I think the majority of us would have taken a point before kickoff. Um, when I saw the squad sheet, I definitely thought I'll take a point before this. Not saying that our squad wasn't strong enough, but I just think with... The amount of new players that we've got in the squad, a point would have been, you know, sufficient, especially away at, at Leeds. Um, so yeah, what a performance, what a result! Really, really proud of the lads today. Um, yeah, bring on Portsmouth next weekend. Up the Clarets. <laughs>